Hey grillers, welcome to BB Grill Shack. I'm your host Brad, and today I'm making lemon pepper chicken on my Traeger pellet smoker. Let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so I've been craving some lemon pepper chicken, but I haven't really made it before. So I did a bunch of research on the internet and I found some great ideas. What I wanna do today is try to make it on my pellet smoker. I know you can do this in your oven and I've seen a lot of recipes to do it on a skillet on your stove, but today I'm a barbecuer and so I'm gonna throw it on my smoker, set it up to 325 and try to get a nice breaded lemon pepper chicken. During my research, I saw two or three recipes that don't use any lemon juice, just the lemon zest. So that's what I'm doing today. And then I'm gonna give a slice of lemon at the end with the chicken, just in case you wanna add juice yourself. Start by zesting a lemon. I used one whole lemon for about four chicken thighs. So go ahead and use that as a scale for your own. Before you season your chicken thighs, go ahead and make sure to pat them all dry. Next, I took most of that lemon zest and I rubbed it all over my chicken thighs, really rubbing in the zest oils and even the little chunks of zest. I'm using chicken thighs today because that's what I had in my freezer but go ahead and use whatever chicken you guys have. This will work with chicken breast, chicken thighs, chicken tenderloins, get at it. Now that we've rubbed our chicken thighs in the zest for a while, let's go ahead and season them. I'm just using salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic. This garlic powder is from Flavor God. It's a really, really good, really potent garlic flavor, and I really highly recommend it. Check them out. While your seasoning is soaking in and your salt is starting to dissolve, go ahead and light up your grill and turn it up to 325. We're gonna go ahead and use this time to make our breading as well. I used a little bit of panko and seasoned it with salt and pepper. Add the rest of your lemon zest and mix that in also. If you want the breading to be a little bit smaller, go ahead and use the back of a bowl or the back of a cup to just squish the breading and break it down into smaller pieces. Mix it all together with your hands until you have a nice consistent breading. Take each of the chicken thighs, dip them in the breading on either side and get a nice even coat. We're gonna put these on a wire rack and then spray each side with olive oil. My buddy Alex showed me this oil trick and it's really cool, so check it out. If you spray the breading with oil, instead of burning, the breading will crisp up. So that's what we're gonna do today, right on the smoker. Let the breading and oil soak in for about another 10 minutes until your grill is heated up. Our grill is heated up to 325, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw the chicken thighs in, and I'm gonna set a timer for 25 minutes when I'm gonna come back out and flip them. After about 25 minutes, our chickens are looking good, and it's time to flip them. So I'm just gonna take them one by one and flip them right on the wire rack. I'm gonna set another timer for 20 minutes this time and start checking the temperature then. Now that we've reached a nice safe temperature on our chicken, let's go ahead and take it out and let it rest for a couple minutes while we take some pictures. I'm just gonna cut into one of these thighs so you guys can see how well it's cooked and give you a couple close-ups real quick. Before I let you go, let's go ahead and do a taste test. All right guys, I'm really excited for the taste test on this one. I brought that slice that I drizzled with a little bit of lemon and check this out. It's fallen apart. It's so rendered in there. These pieces wanna just fall apart. I'm super excited. Mmm. Damn, super good with the fresh lemon. Highly recommended. Put a squeeze of lemon on there, super good. I don't know if you guys could hear it, I'm sure you probably could, but it's also really crunchy. Wow, that's good. All right guys, thanks for sticking around. If you liked this video this week, go ahead and leave a comment below and let me know what you're barbecuing this summer. I'm really interested. All right guys, have a good weekend. I'll catch you next week.